Good evening and welcome along once again to an hour-long special of This Is Your Life. I'm standing in Wellington's Michael Fowler Centre, where tonight I've been made a special member for one night only of a charitable organisation called the Sir Robert Kerridge Foundation. They're an organisation that's dedicated to developing the arts in New Zealand. Our subject is also a member of the board of this foundation, and that person is expected here at any second now to, to join in the meeting. When they do, of course, uh, there'll be a few surprises in store for them. So I'm about to sit down with some of the wonderful luminaries here. We've got uh, Sir Wallace and Lady Rowling, Bill Sheet, and, uh, of course, Bob Kerridge. Not to mention our very famous Ray Columbus. All right, folks, we're going to sit down. I think our subject's about to arrive. Shall we start the meeting? You're happy, Ray? Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know. It was a, some kind of payoff deal. Oh, there. Nice. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Almost all of us today. He's on time. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> Michael Fowler, who's the old? Yeah. I don't know whether you've met, but we have a new member of the foundation, Bob Parker. Have you okay. met before or not? Oh, Bob? a long way somewhere, I think. How are you? Nice Bob to see you. Bob is in our rank. Chillo's dedication. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Sir so Wallace? Good. 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 Uh, Lady Hello. Rowling? Yeah. How are you? Good to see you. Howard, can I get you a drink yeah. or something like that? Uh, just a wait. I've got to work tonight. Oh, wait. Wait. bring him over anyway, would you? Bring something over. Right, my what have you been up to recently, Howard? Oh, well, a bit, a bit of jet lag. Have <laughs> oh, you been travelling? Where have you been? Bring the tray over, will you? Howard, we, we, uh, there isn't any, anything to drink here so much as something to read, actually. Uh, what were you... <laughs> 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 I've got a show tonight. How about it? The only difference is you're not going to be sitting down listening. You're going to be sitting down talking this evening. <laughs> uh, he's speechless. Unless you've got Did something you else. To, they're always speechless. I thought, of all the people to be speechless, it would not be Howard no, Morris. Definitely not. Give us a quotable quote at this moment, <laughs> Howard. I was wondering why you were wearing makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I always wear makeup. <laughs> That's not true. Cut that piece out. <laughs> Howard, uh, it's a tradition of the show. You've got to oh, read to us. Come over here. You've got to read to us what it says on the front. <laughs> this is your life, Howard Morrison. How great the Lord. How great the Live from Avalon, Television New Zealand presents This Is Your Life. That's how we... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Howard Morrison. Turn up, Bob. We had you fooled. Completely. All the way along the line. You know, the moment we stopped rolling the cameras, we had a hidden camera, and we said, this is for real, you know. He didn't believe us until the cameraman walked out from behind the wall that we had built. But it is for real. You really are here. Of course, we couldn't have done it without one magnificent person. I wonder if I can ask her to join us right now. Queer, are you there, please? Mrs. Morrison, ladies and gentlemen, the better half. Goodness me. What, a, what an actress. What an actress. Fool me. Absolutely. Uh, I thought she was uh, changing a bit. Uh. <laughs> Put to me a bit odd over the last few days. Yeah, days. you know, I'm used to her being so submissive and uh, agreeing to everything, and then suddenly she says, I'll, I'll be in Wellington when I, when I get there. Right, and yeah. she was there. Yeah. <laughs> she set you up, my friend, but we're very, very grateful for that. You've just got back from, from Paris. I know that uh, 
the, the resorts of Asia and, and the Pacific are, are like the corner dairy is to me. They are to you. you you've travelled around a great deal. When you married this man those years ago, did you expect this to happen in your lives? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... Please. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's still speechless, ladies and gentlemen. Queer, I want to thank you for your help and invite you to sit down now. Your work is done. Relax and enjoy the show with us. Thank you. Queer Morrison, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Take a seat over here, Harold. Thank you. You've been called the, uh, the Sinatra of New Zealand, old brown eyes. Uh, you've been awarded the OBE. You've been named as New Zealand's Entertainer of the Year. To most Kiwis, in fact, you are simply just Mr. Entertainment. You've had a marvellous career. Anything stand out as a particular highlight for you? One moment amongst all of the things that you've done? Uh, visually, and participation-wise, would have to be the Royal Command performance. Right. Yeah. That was really special for, for all Kiwis watching it, I know, but a marvellous night for you. you know, I think today's generation probably think of you as a solo performer, but to anyone over 30, I know that you're, you're synonymous with the Howard Morrison Quartet. Great memories there, Howard. But the court hair was, was darker. <laughs> the hair was a little darker. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you formed back about 1956, I think. The quartet really, really got together. Uh, you broke every showbiz record in New Zealand. You finally broke up at the end of 1964. A special period of New Zealand's history. I'd like you to have a listen to this. The Virgin Mary had a baby boy. A sweet bird. Virgin Mary had a baby boy. Virgin Mary had a baby boy, and they say that his name was Jesus. He come down. Oh, I think you may recognize those voices. Please welcome the former members of the Howard Morrison Quartet. They're here tonight. We, Parakura. <laughs> Noel Kingy. And from Perth in Australia, Jerry Merito. <laughs> please, please be seated. Let's relax and go over some old times because this is, I know, a magic moment. This is a piece, a piece of history. magic <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to try and attempt to bring this under control. We're looking at 60 minutes of chaos here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to walk away from it very shortly and leave them to it. How long since you last performed together? We? Well, it was probably the most, the last memorable time was in 1975 when we did a reunion concert down in Christchurch. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> You've all gone your own separate ways since the, since the group uh, broke up, but I wonder if I can ask each of you to uh, provide us with one of those special insights into the character of your very special friend, Howard Morrison. I'll start with you, Wee. Well, I think for me it was the time that I was a student at the Auckland Teachers Training College. I got a phone call on a Thursday night and said that I was leaving for Australia as part of the Howard Morrison Quartet on Sunday. <laughs> and I think there was a telephone call from Howard. He said, be at the airport because you're now not a school teacher anymore. You're going on, you're going on tour and you're going to Australia. Mm. I think I have to thank Howard as deeply as I possibly can. Uh, that started the most wonderful things in life for me. <coughs> and I'm just so grateful for that opportunity. Jerry. Kia ora, Howard. Kia ora, kia ora, kia ora. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, all right? Well, yeah, well, I, I gotta thank you for a lot of things. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna share with all these fin bars. <laughs> we, 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 we go back. What's a fin bar? A fin bar. <laughs> oh, that's all these lovely people. I all see. Lovely I, people, is yeah. that what it really means, but, Howard? Or can't we go into that? How it, how when it, we first started touring, we used to speak Maori. He asked uh, me the yeah. bloody question. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he said Jew. He said Jew. Even say Jew. Now, you know, I thank you for the, the 
lovely times that uh, through through you I met uh, Waikiki, and uh, that's a very special part of our life. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, you know, you didn't teach me how to play golf very well, <laughs> but uh, you know, one reason why I stuck with you was because you were the only guy that I ever saw in the early days play on the wing, score a try, comb your hair, and still stay on the field like it was. <laughs> so you just can't get over it. <laughs> no. Well, actually, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, well, I'd like to thank you very much because um, I probably was the, the worst ever. The worst ever, really. Yes. <laughs> I have to agree. <laughs> hey, you had your turn. <laughs> you had yours. Uh, <laughs> I can't even damn well finish it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I reckon I, I, was, I was probably the worst ever. That <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There are no plans at this stage, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, for a reunion, but <laughs> well, we're going to see what we can do about that. Jerry, we know thank you for reforming for tonight's very special reunion. The Hal Morrison Quartet. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Sure. Just, just before we go, Bob, there is a ritual that has never been seen, and the Howard Morrison Quartet, uh, after every performance, we had a ritual that used to happen in the dressing rooms, and uh, I'd like to perform that tonight on stage for you right now. Come on, mate! When we go well, right, on the show, okay. we walk off humbly, right? Okay. And we go backstage, and we go... <laughs> Very quiet, very quiet group of people, aren't they? Oh. I can imagine you must have been very bored on those tours. I mean, you know, very quiet behaviour. I think a little family history is due at this time, Howard. Uh, the family name is from uh, a Scottish settler by the name of James Thomas Morrison. By 1874, he'd settled in Rotorua and taken over the operation of the Rotorua Hotel. His son, James Montgomery, married a local woman by the name of Napuya Teriana Tetopara Tokuaitua. Very good. Thank you. Their son, the late Temuera Morrison, was your father. The dominant Maori bloodline is descended from the Arawa. On your mother's side, you have inherited Tainui blood as well as a dash of the Irish. Uh, with a combination like that, you were never going to lead an ordinary life, were you? <laughs> In fact, I have it on very good authority that you began the first Howard Morrison show on the 18th of August, 1935. Listen to this voice. Tēnā koe, Howard. Ko tō māma tēnei, kei te kōrua tu kia koe. Well, Howard, you were born in a hurry, and I think you are still in a hurry. You recognize the voice. Aye, a beautiful Kahu, your beautiful mother, Kahu. She is here from Rotorua to join you tonight. Please welcome Howard's mother. What an Hello. elegant and beautiful woman. <laughs> Do you know, may I mention that uh, Mrs. Morrison is 78 years young. Yep. And is looking absolutely superb. They bred him pretty well in the Morrisons, don't they? <laughs> it was a speedy birth. Was he a difficult birth? No, it was very, very good. Very good birth. As I said, he came in a hurry. Yeah. He's been <laughs> in a hurry. He's still in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> was he a musical lad? Not really. Not, not um, at home. You know, mm. when he was younger, the elder brother was more musical. Mm -hmm. He started his music career at uh, Teote College, I would say, through with Mrs. Um, Putero and her family. Mm -hmm. well, he started him off. He's been going superbly well ever since. And yes. uh, it's a real thrill to have you on the show with Howard tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Kahu Morrison. <laughs> After this break, we'll have a lot more to say about New Zealand's greatest entertainer. Mm -hmm. You'll be blue 